and welcome to Wake Up America. Could your favorite seafood dish be dangerous to your health? You may be surprised to hear that 80% of the seafood we consume is imported, and most of it comes from nations with lower food safety standards than here in the U.S. With toxic chemicals being poured into rivers in Vietnam, for example, pose serious health risks. The Food and Drug Administration, known as the FDA, has the resources to inspect only 1% of the food imported and has found between 8 and 16% of products from China and Taiwan to be contaminated. Tests done in Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, and Oklahoma find that almost half of its imported seafood is tainted. As a result, an average of 325,000 Americans are hospitalized every year from food poisoning with around 5,000 resultant deaths. Consuming foods from uncertain origins is risky. Scary when you consider that for years, independent researchers have been finding evidence of heavy metals, pesticides, PCBs, or other toxic contaminants in the food we are importing from China. One of the key solutions to this problem is food labeling. Other countries are up in arms against the U.S. telling citizens where their food is coming from. This doesn't make any sense. If we know where our shirts, jeans, and socks come from, based on their tags, why can't we know where our food comes from? We need to properly label the country of origin on the products. Just as our shirt tags say, made in China, our food needs to be labeled as well. Another step we must take is better our inspections of imported food. If the FDA has an average of only one minute per food truck that comes in, more funds are needed to ensure proper inspections are made, keeping contaminated food away from our store shelves. The American people should not have to pay for mistakes made in other countries. These funds should come from safety inspection fees for foreign foods. If the FDA cannot inspect foreign food, individual states should step in and implement more inspections. As stated before, states that do tests, such as Alabama, reject over half of their imported fish due to safety concerns. Other states would surely benefit by enacting legislation comparable to Alabama's rigorous standards. Wake up, America. Something has to change. American citizens should call their governor's offices and ask them to set up food safety inspections. We should inform our family and neighbors about this, as it is in the public's best interest. By educating our friends, family, and elected officials, on issues such as these, we work towards a better future for our children and a better future for America. To learn more about America's toxic imports, log on to economyincrisis.org.